All right, so our problem reads, for a given week, Gina's Coffee House has available 1,584 ounces of A-grade coffee and 1,440 ounces of B-grade coffee. These are blended into one pound packages as follows. An economy blend that contains three ounces of A-grade coffee and six ounces of B-grade coffee, and a superior blend that contains 11 ounces of A-grade coffee and four ounces of B-grade coffee. The remainder of each blend is made of filler ingredients. There is a $2 profit on each economy blend package sold and a $4 profit on each superior blend package sold. Assuming that the store is able to sell as many blends as it makes, how many packages of each blend should it make to maximize its profit for the week? Okay. So again, approaching this problem, we're going to just start writing down the things that we know and then work on writing our system of constraints. All right, so what we know. All right, so for a given week, we have a total available of 1,584 ounces of grade A. Okay, so I'm going to put grade A total, 1,584. And then we also have a total for grade B of 1,440. Okay, so that's this one for B. All right, these are blended into one pound packages as follows. So the economy blend, so I'm just going to put economy. So I'm going to use E for economy. We have three ounces of grade A and so plus, so three ounces of A and six ounces of B for the economy. And then the superior blend, so I'm going to put S for superior, we have 11 ounces of A and 4 ounces of B. And then we make $2 on the economy, so E has a profit of $2 for each bag that we sell, and our superior has a profit of $4 for each bag that we sell. And this one pound is just kind of extra information that we don't really need. So we're just going to kind of ignore it. So this time when we do this problem, we're going to start with our objective function. So sometimes it's easier to do that and will help you be able to define your variables a little bit better. So our objective function is usually about how we make our money. So since we're making $2 for each economy bag and $4 for each superior bag, that's what we want our objective function to represent. So how much money are we going to make? So I'm going to say that the economy bag, so the number of, is going to be my x, and then the number of our superior blend is going to be our y. So that means our objective function is going to be equal to 2x plus 4y. So now that we have our variables, let's start writing our constraints. So again, we are given some totals. So we need something to be less than or equal to those numbers. So we have to have something less than or equal to our 1584 and something less than or equal to the 1440. So less than or equal to 1584. Now this total is talking about our grade A coffee. So I need all of those numbers to be together in the same equation. So for our economy, we're using three ounces of grade A and for each bag of our superior blend that we make, we're using 11 ounces. 
that means that we're going to have 3x plus 11y has to be less than or equal to that. And then B, we're using 6 ounces for each economy bag and 4 ounces for each superior bag. So that means that we would have 6x plus 4y for that one. And again, when we're creating things, we're not allowed to create a negative number of things. So we should also include x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. So this is the system that we want to graph. So looking at this, this is going to be really big numbers, so it's going to be difficult to graph by hand. So this time we're going to use our calculators to help get our picture that we want to look at and to find our vertices. So first thing that we need to do is solve each of these equations for y. So for the top one, we're going to start by subtracting our 3x over. So I'm going to do that work up here. So we would have 11y less than or equal to negative 3x plus 1,584. And then that means that we're going to be dividing everything by 11. So y less than or equal to negative 3 elevenths x plus 144. So this equation is the same as y less than or equal to negative 3 elevenths x plus 144. So now we're going to take the second one and then solve that. So we're going to start by subtracting 6. So we would have 4y less than or equal to negative 6x plus 1,000. Oops, sorry, I copied that number down wrong. Should be 4, 4. So 1,440. And then we're going to divide everything by 4. So when we divide by 4, we can reduce this to be negative 3 over 2x. And then 1,440 divided by 4 is 360. So this is the same as y less than or equal to negative 3 halves x plus 360. So those are the equations that we are going to plug into our calculator. So if you have a graphing calculator, go ahead and grab it. So to enter in our equations, we're going to press y equals, and then we're going to type the first equation. So we just kind of ignored this part of it. So we're going to start with negative 3 over 11. So remember to use your negative key at the bottom and not the minus key. So negative 3 divided by 11x plus 144, enter. And then we're going to enter the second equation. So negative 3 divided by 2x plus 360. So we're going to need to adjust our window. So I'm going to leave my x min at negative 10 since I want to see my x-axis. And then we're probably going out fairly far. So let's maybe try, oh, I don't know. Let's try 250, see if it works out. And let's do a scale of 50. And again, I'm going to leave mine at negative 10. And uh, let's make our y max the same, so 250 with a scale of 50 as well. And then I'm going to press my graph key to look at the picture. So there's our first equation and our second one. And since we're less than, we need to be below both of those lines. And then again, this is going to be our x equals 0 line and y equals 0. So our shaded part's going to be in this section right here. So we need to figure out this point this one, and then where those two intersect. So I'm going to start with that intersection point. So I'm going to have my calculator do that for me. So I'm going to press the, go to my calc menu, so second trace, and then we're going to select intersect. And then I'm going to move this over. And then enter, enter, enter. So we have 176, 96 for that first point. And then this one down here, if I'm looking at it, our, we have to figure out the x value when our y is 0. So our calculator will also do this one. So if we do second trace again, we would select 0 because that's what we're trying to find. 
and then we want to make sure that we're on the red line. And then we want to start just a little bit above and enter, and then go a little bit below and press enter and enter again. So it looks like we're at 240 for that one. And then this line, I know that my x value is 0. So if we know the x, our calculator can also help us figure that out. So for this one, we're going to press trace and enter and make sure your cursor is on the blue line and press 0 and then enter. So we have 144 for that y value. And then this intersection down here is just 0, 0. So really our graph, so I have a picture of it, is this. So and again, we want to list our values, so our intersections. Okay, so we have our 0, 0, 0, 144, uh, 176, 96, and 240, and 0. And then once we have those, this is where we take them and plug them into our objective function. So our objective function was at 2x plus 4. So this one we would take 2 times 0 plus 4 times 0. So that was a simplified to be 0. The next one we are taking 2 times 0 plus 4 times 144. So when we simplify that one, we will have 576. And then our next one, 2 times 176 plus 4 times 96. So again, if you just type that right into your calculator, you should end up with 736. And then our last one, we're taking 2 times 240 plus 4 times 0. So again, if we type that into our calculator, we are going to get 480. So remember, we're trying to maximize our profit. So we want the biggest number, so the most profit. So that is going to be this one right here. So we have a max at 176, 96. So again, that means that we're going to make 176 economy bags and 96 superior blend bags of coffee for a profit of $736 a week. So this would be our final answer for this problem.